Hi everybody and welcome to the principal update for Thursday, September 30th. Uh, for today's teacher feature, I'm joined with Mrs. Amy Schneider. She is our, our art teacher and our technology teacher. And we'll first start with uh, Mrs. Schneider. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I've been teaching for probably a little over 20 years um, here at Assumption Academy and before that at a few other schools. Um, and I have two sons that are grown and a husband at home. And a little known fact um, that people might, might not realize is that you and I both worked together before coming to St. Albert the Great at Assumption Academy. Um, so I know that Mrs. Schneider was definitely a super high quality teacher. I wanted to make sure that we had her here as well. So thankfully she was able to, to join us here at Assumption. Um, so let's, let's switch things around a little bit. Let's talk about some of your favorite things so people can get to know you a little bit better. Okay. Um, and we are a Catholic school, so who's your favorite saint? So my favorite saint would be St. Andrew. St. Andrew is... Um patron saint of Scotland, which is where many of my relatives are from, so that's kind of why I come up with among my favorites. Okay. Have you ever been to Scotland? No, I wish. That's on, that's on a list. In the bucket list, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, as far as like pastimes, like, like reading is very important. Like, What's one of your favorite books to read or genres? So I actually, for years, I read along with my sons, um, so I kind of like young adult fiction a lot, and one of my favorite series is by an author named Brandon Mull. And the series is called The Beyonders, and I really like the fantasy element of that, and a really creatively written book. Okay, so that's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to reading, like, what are some other hobbies that you that you enjoy? I like crafts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I like to knit and crochet and do all kinds of things that are um, that just are just relaxing to me. Something different from being in the classroom. Have you ever sold like your crafts? Like, yes, or... I've done craft shows. Craft shows. North Royalton High School and other ones around. The Around the communities in the last few years. So I believe the Assumption Parish is planning a craft show. Might we see a table set up? We might. We'll see. Nice. Okay. Um, as far as travel, you know, I, I know we have the, the summers. There's some more flexibility for, for teachers and educators. What are some places you like to visit? So we have friends that we visit in Florida a lot, um, but we also enjoy going to the Finger Lakes in New York area, like the outdoors and the, um, it's really pretty and relaxing up Absolutely, and, and teachers definitely need those getaways, and we can when we can when we can have them. Yeah. Um, lastly, I know this is your your third year third year here with us. What's your favorite part of working at St. Alfred the Great at Assumption Academy? Well, I think a lot of people would say it is, and it is very much like a family. But I really also like working with the kids. I, I don't have that so much at home with my kids being grown, and I really like being around the kids all day and knowing what they're into and what they're up to and, and interacting with them. That's very great to hear. Um, so we are very. You know, lucky uh, to have you on our staff as our technology and our art teacher. Um, obviously, the students have been winning art contests for the past three years, so we know that they're getting the, not only the proper instruction, but you know enough so they could be you know award winners in, in the art and technology. Yeah. Um, so, last little bit of information before we close out is that we can see behind us we have our new computer lab, which was installed. So we have our new computers, our new tables and chairs. Uh, so thank you, parents, uh, for the past couple of years for our We Give Catholic campaign. Um, being the number one organization three years in a row, we're going for four. Uh, so this Thanksgiving, um, we're going to be putting out some more messaging. But thank you for, you know, for, for the donations and for opening up your pocketbooks to really allow our students to have the best education possible. Um, so that being said, thank you and God bless. And we look forward to seeing you again next week.